Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In my last video I talked a little bit about casting to an object and how to get an actor reference uh, based on a scene component. So for example, uh, if you wanted to get an actor reference of this blueprint here, one, this one's called the double thruster, uh, whilst you with, were within the um, blueprint for my blueprint, my buggy blueprint, um, basically what you would do is you would create a new variable for an actor reference and then in that actor reference you would need to actually what you would first need to do is you would first need to check the type of blueprint that you're trying to get uh, a reference um, for and you need to check what the uh, parent class of that act of that uh, blueprint is in this case the parent class of my double thruster is actor and so what I want to do in my bu blueprint buggy in my buggy blueprint that is this one here is I want to create an our actor reference and then I want to use the object type of actor right so uh, basically object type uh, actor object reference so that's the variable type and then what you would do here is you could expose that variable by clicking that little I and then what you could do in the buggy over here is you could in your level go in and look for the exposed variable can't type actor reference and you could actually even go do something like that and do a little little droplet and then your actor reference is the actual sp component that's set up in your scene uh, that's what we talked about in the last video but let's assume that uh, you're not sure what your actor reference is going to be in my case it could be this it could be this it could be this over here so what I've done here is I've set up an uh, overlap event in my buggy so my buggy has an uh, on overlap event let me look for it um, basically just event actor begin overlap so basically when it overlaps something the other actor is the actor that's overlapping with so it depends on what it is right so if it overlaps with this then it's the thruster one if it overlaps with this then it's the double thruster um, I swear we're not making a, 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 an adult flick here this is um, all for science anyway um, this then can, other actor now becomes the actor reference you can set that at the overlap event and you don't need to set it in the um, blueprint in your level component you can basically pick that up whatever it happens to be if you run over this one then it's this one if you run over this one and and trigger the collision with that one then it's that one and in our in our event begin overlap our other actor then becomes our actor reference so that we then when we then try to do a cast to uh, when we then try to do a cast to uh, and it says you basically get that error it does not inherit from so will always fail right so we want to make sure that we're casting to from the correct uh, object um, so basically this actor reference is the blueprint that we're casting to so this actor reference in this case for example would say run over thruster one and so in this case the actor reference is thruster one and we're casting to thruster one and then we're doing what we want to do in there so this is kind of a mickey mouse setup that i have here and <laughs> that's just kind of like the lazy man's way of casting to potentially three different uh, blueprints uh, if fail do the next i'm sure there's a better way to do that but then basically yeah whenever it runs over whenever there's a collision object the actor object reference gets updated uh, by the overlap event and then that can become the new actor reference uh, that then gets cast to so yeah like I say that's my lazy man's way of doing three different potential cast to objects there's probably a much better way to do that this basically just says if failed if failed if failed do the next one I've only got three objects in my game so it doesn't really matter too much in my case but um, yeah there's probably a more pro way to do that but I just wanted to elaborate a little bit uh, since my previous video touched upon uh, setting the actor reference for established scene components within the uh, level editor but if you wanted to do that in the blueprint I just wanted to touch a little bit on how to do that basically this part this object part super confusing you're just getting the reference to your um, blueprint that you're casting to uh, uh, that should work sometimes you can do this with other things like player pawn and that sort of thing it sort of depends on the on the relationship between the two things but if if you're not able to use your player controller your player pawn uh you know all, all those normal ones that usually work great right, for what you're doing uh and you, you you're casting to your own actor blueprint or something like that you just need to get a reference first to that blueprint 
by uh, in some way um, connecting to it with this with your existing so uh, like I say the overlap event is one way to do that there's probably a number another number of other ways to get a reference to the actor maybe a line trace maybe um, get all actors of class or something like that um, yeah okay bye for now